Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, my name is Daquan Jones, Psychic Astrologer and Life Coach. And today we're going to be talking about the horoscope for the full moon in Gemini, which will be on December 11th and 12th for some of you on the East Coast. So if you are new to this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And if you enjoy this, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook, feel free to share this out and leave a like as well. This is a very powerful full moon that we are stepping into and it is the very last full moon of 2019. So this is one of the biggest moments this big ending and completion moment that is going to push us into this new story that actually we've technically already started this new story with jupiter and capricorn jupiter and capricorn is this new story of where we are headed and as i've said before jupiter is connected to the Chinese zodiac and we know that Jupiter and Capricorn corresponds with the year of the rat and so we'll see that we're moving into this story that is of this year of the rat and if you know anything about the Chinese zodiac story it is about these 12 animals that are in a race to get to the emperor and the rat and the rat wins the race because the rat finds a clever way to win. The rat rides on the ox, which is second in the race, and leaps off of the ox once the ox gets close to the finish line. And so there's something about that that does resonate with this journey of where we're going, that this is about success, this is about your accomplishments, your achievements, but it does take some... sort of strategy some sort of plan it takes structure it takes discipline it takes work and so for those of you who were looking for this story to be easy this is a challenging story as it does require work capricorn is about work it is the sign that is about climbing that mountain to success to the highest point in life and if you look at a birth chart the area of the chart that Capricorn originally corresponds with is the midheaven, which is the highest point in the sky. So it is about getting us to these achievements, these accomplishments, and these visions that we have in store for ourselves. But it does require the work, it does require the consistency, the plan to get there. And so this Gemini full moon is much like a checklist to see are you actually willing to do the work to get to this goal to get to this successful moment in your life and so with this full moon in Gemini it is a time of reflection it is a time of rest it is a time of introspection but it is it is not a time of waiting it is not a time of just sitting back and doing nothing either and so as Gemini is this sign of curiosity this Gemini full moon is bringing us answers it's bringing us clarities it's bringing us the information that we need to move into this new space and so it is this final last call of are you willing to do what it takes to move forward and if you think of this gemini full moon as a checklist of okay what am i going to hold on to that actually serves me and allows me to move into this new journey onto this new path towards this vision that i have for myself and then what on the list is not going to work for me so this is a lot like since we are headed towards christmas this is a lot like this Santa's checklist of 
what is going to serve you and what is going to not. And so is it nice? Is it naughty? According to your plan, according to your vision of where you are headed and where you are going, moving into this new year, because this new year is about moving towards home and there's something about home that is about what are you connected to that serves you that fulfills you in your life and so this point of destiny is the north node in cancer that is about what is going to fulfill you in your life what are you emotionally and divinely connected to that actually serves you on your path moving forward and so we are moving into a space of unity as we move into 2020 but it's important to realize that this is a major choice a major decision about where you are headed 2020 is not going to hand you anything in your lap and it's not going to force you to move into the direction that serves you in your life but 2020 will be a year for major decisions about if you're moving forward or if you're moving backwards into old cycles because with capricorn there really is no backwards if you are going backwards with capricorn then you are going to a losing position you are going back into old patterns old cycles capricorn is about climbing the mountain and getting to that success and it is a it is a challenging climb getting up that mountain to that success but that is part of the journey and so this is about who is willing to work who is willing to do what it takes to get to the finish line and this is not a competition between you and the next person this is a competition between you and your past self this is about you getting to your achievements your accomplishments and so this full moon is curious as to what decision are you going to make and it does need to be a decision because with all of this capricorn influence that we have we have venus we have saturn we have jupiter we have pluto we have the south node all in capricorn that this is about climbing to your achievements to your success in relationships in business in how you transform your life in the doorways that you are opening for yourself and with mars and scorpio also mars and scorpio is supporting this energy because mars is the warrior mars is the driving force the passion to get us to where we are headed and in scorpio it is at home it is in its full power its full dignity so this is a time to be decisive this is a time to make a decision to take a course of action as to where you are headed in your life and there is something to say about how when we are dealing with scorpio energy it is ruling over the genitals right scorpio is an energy that rules over sex and it rules over sex in a on a soul level right it's about connection but there is something too that is also where scorpio is very penetrating it is that passion that force that drive within you that pushes you to accomplish things and so with this mars and scorpio energy are you willing to put in the work and are you willing to do what it takes to get you to your accomplishments in life and with this full moon in gemini there are aspects to saturn pluto venus and neptune and so with this energy this is bringing up questions of relationships questions of belief systems questions of career questions of all of these choices and decisions and so this is a time of reflecting and looking at what serves you and what doesn't as you are moving in it to 2020 this is a question of what needs to go and what needs to stay it's a question of are you in or are you out on this journey 
to this better life? Are you willing to head towards this better life? And there are many people who are still on the fence who don't know if they want to go for this. And there is something about Capricorn where it is about taking the risk and going for the opportunity, reaching for that accomplishment. And so this full moon is a big question of where are you headed when that solar eclipse comes, right? Because this is the fullness of this journey that we have been on that started out with this new moon in Sagittarius. And it is ending, this energy is going to completely close off as we come into this new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn. And the new moon solar eclipse will be a major time of making a decision about if you are fully in on this journey forward or if you're going backwards. There's no back and forth. There's no in between anymore. This is a choice of whether you are going forward or backwards. And so this full moon in Gemini is trying to counsel you. It is trying to help you understand that there is a decision that needs to be made there is a choice that needs to be made and so it's bringing you the clarity it's bringing you the information that you need moving forward and so this is a big time of choice about what are you going to choose moving forward so that was your gemini full moon horoscope again if you like this video feel free to leave a thumbs up if you're new to this channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, then feel free to leave a like as well as sharing this out. Thanks so much everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video.